Well, this is what I'm calling my frog hair motor. And uh, it's, um, the coils are made with this very, very fine 42 gauge magnet wire that is as fine as frog hair. <laughs> so I called it the frog hair motor. And uh, there's an old saying, uh, finer than frog hair. And boy, I tell you, that wire, that stuff right there, that 42 gauge, is extremely hard to work with. Um, but you can do it if you use the uh, electric drill and a uh, spindle on the spool and are careful. You can wind these coils with that fine wire. And those are sewing machine bobbins, just plain old regular... Um, sewing machine plastic bobbins that I was able to wind up that wire on them and they are 2,000 ohms each. That's right, 2,000 ohms a piece. And there's the little uh, circuit, uh, one uh, transistor circuit. And this is the um, setup here. It's a very, very simple one transistor NPN with a trigger coil that triggers the base and then a drive coil. And I'll, I'll go in close here. Like I say, it's a 42 gauge magnet wire, approximately 2,000 ohms each air cork coil. This will run on 1.5 to 9 volts, way, way under 1 milliamp. I tried several uh, transistors, uh, the small signal transistors you get at Radio Shack, and uh, right now I've got this running on an MPS A06 of all things, and it likes that. But um, this is going to sound bizarre, uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are going to shake their heads and go, this guy's gone nuts. But I put the meters on this, and I tried this with capacitors, and that thing right there running is drawing about 40 microamps, not milliamps, 40 microamps on a AA battery. So you guys do the math. A standard alkaline AA battery has, a good one, has about 2,500 milliamp hours in it. That motor running at 40 microamps, do the math, long, long run time. Uh, this is a spin-off of um, Laser Saber's Easy Spin that I've been working and working and working with. Um, what I wanted was something that ran nonstop using ambient light within my house day and night. Uh, twice this was running still in the morning, but then stopped at about 8 or 9 o'clock in the morning. I had to let it rest for a while then start it back up again, and it runs all day long. So I'm not there yet. I think if I added another solar panel and mounted it on this uh, archway and then uh, went ahead and put the circuit on the, the unit, this would do exactly what I, I want it to do. Um, at least here in Southern California, I'm about 34 degrees north latitude and we run the lights till about 11 o'clock at night and then we go to bed. So that's, I think, going to end up doing what I want it to do. But I wanted to do more testing with this super fine wire. These are 42 gauge uh, coils. Uh, that coil chain has 12,000 ohms of resistance in it. And the rotor is running on sapphire jewel bearings. And this is why a Laser Saber's uh, creation here is so amazing, is you have a precision instrument there running on very high resistance coils. And this was my test bed to try out that coil idea with the high resistance. And like I say, these particular coils are 2,000 ohms each. Uh, they're air cork coils. And uh, it actually was a very finicky little motor to get working at the low voltages. It ran great with the higher voltages, but when I got down around where I wanted to be, uh, low voltage, uh, low microamp, it was finicky. And I'm not quite sure why, but uh, anyway, there it is running. And this is the... Uh, frog hair motor. Thanks for watching.